Okay, this is one of a series of videos about this new pet product called Easy Out, which lets you release your dog from its crate from somewhere else. In this particular video, I'm going to talk about the attachment methods for attaching your latch to the Easy Out shaft. The one you see here in the video first is the uh, normal standard way that's provided, which is just a tie wrap that you wrap around and cut off, and it allows the uh, uh, latch to go back and forth, uh, but you can't do much up or down with it. The other option that's provided with the product is this right here where you see a black plastic extender on the rod and then the tie wrap goes around it and then the latch sits on top of the black extender instead of at the end of the rod. This gets the latch up higher and also the, the ability of the tie wrap to slide on the plastic extender lets you get more travel. Up you see you can get more engagement over here at the end of the latch. And it comes in a bag like this which is provided with the product. The next one I really want to focus on this video here though is this one which is not provided with the product because it was uh, uh, thought of after the packages had already been uh, shipped. But this one here is a, a way that looks clean and it's made out of a simple, um, a simple paper clip which I'm going to illustrate in a minute. But the point with this one is it works just like the others, but it gives you the added advantage. You can pull it out, and you can put your latch all the way through, and you can lock it behind the vertical rod, as you see here, so that the latch can't physically go back at all. The other easy out method that I showed earlier doesn't allow that because the latch is stuck in this position here. And you can do that whenever you want, and then when you want to go back to using the easy out, you just put the end of the little uh, hook back in there so it works with the easy out when you want it to and when you want to lock securely like when you're going away for a long trip or something you simply take it out put it all the way through and push it back like that so I'm going to show that one in a minute because that's a very good method it only requires a paper clip to do this is a fourth method that also uses the same paper clip vinyl coated rubber paper clip but it's a slightly different attachment where here you've got the paper clip attached to the shaft instead of the latch and part of the paper clip comes under the latch and holds it up on the bottom and then the other part goes over and down the top here. So what this does is it provides the same benefits of the earlier one and that you move it back and forth to operate the easy out like always and you take it, you just lift this up and slide out the latch and you can lock it like I showed just now but the point being that when you put it back in there which I can't really show with one hand but when you put it back in there and you bend the, the latch down the way it was when you first saw it you can envision that there's no way for the latch to come loose from the easy out at all it's just a fail safe to keep it attached but the simplest and probably the best and easiest to use is this one which I showed over here which is what I want to illustrate right now how you do it from a paper clip what I'm going to show here is all you really start need is a simple vinyl coated, in this case I have a black jumbo paper clip. The vinyl coated works better because it's easier to bend with your hands. I took the liberty of starting the first part which is you take it, you straighten it out and you put a little loop in the end like this to start with and all you need is a pair of cutters or a scissors will also do because you're going to trim it off when you're done. So I'm going to try to do here is set this video camera up here to where you can watch me do it hopefully this works basically you take the bent piece that I sh that I showed a second ago to start with and you stick it up through there like that so that the long piece is up through the middle and the little hook part is over here to the side and then you just simply bend it around bend it around the bottom of the latch so that it's wrapped around one time, like that. Try to show it a little closer. It's just so that it's wrapped just around the loop one time, around the latch one time. And then you simply trim it off, like I'm going to do right here. Just so it doesn't get in the way of anything. So then what you've got is the finished latch. So now you can take set the hole up like that you can set this in 
back so you can see a little better. Set the end of it in there like I showed over there. It's black so it looks nice but it's hard to see in the camera. But you can see that the, the straight piece at the end goes through the hole in the shaft and it works like any other easy out. Great. But then when you want to uh, if you want to latch the latch securely for a long trip, just simply lift it up, drop that down, the latch goes all the way through, maximum extension through the hoop, and the, the latch is locked down here like you can with your crate as it normally would be. It doesn't matter if the latch sticks up here, sometimes the latch might fall to the bottom, either way it's on the outside of the crate. The dog can't get to it because this plastic back plate in the back here keeps the dog from getting to the side. And then again, when you want to use the easy out again, you simply lift it back up here, lift the latch up high enough to insert it down in the hole, and boom, it's ready to go. This is a great way to enhance the operation of your easy out after you buy it with just a simple paper clip, and I uh, wanted to make sure everybody's aware of it. Thanks a lot.